activity in 2017 has been quite good, as we had predicted uh, in, together with Oxo uh, Oxford Economics last year. Uh, and especially the last few months of uh, 2017 should be fantastic. Uh, we are projecting for 2018 an even better market, and, and the prognosis is that we might even top uh, the record year of 2007 as far as values are concerned. Well, IPO activity is obviously driven by a handful of factors, and one of the, the key drivers of IPO activity we've seen recently is uh, the, the little amount of market volatility and the, um, the record uh, stock prices, which have sort of resulted in fantastic valuations for new companies coming to the stock exchange. We expect that that will continue uh, also in 2018. And that would make stock exchange exits, for instance, a quite valuable alternative than versus a, an M&A uh, transaction. At the same time, we also see that um, the general market conditions uh, are still quite good. Uh, Europe has been performing better than expected, and, we, resp and, and we, we hope that that will continue as well. The US is still holding uh, steady, and also China hasn't seen the bumps as many people have sort of thought that they would be coming. So on the basis of that, we, we would expect that 2018 would still be a quite good year. We should also point out that there's quite a lot of new activity in the emerging markets, especially China and India, has, have come up at stock exchange in their own rights. And that has also boosted the values quite substantially. Well, looking at risks, it's always difficult to predict what will happen, what could go wrong, because we don't have a crystal ball. But uh, it looks like the political uh, risks have um, uh, diminished substantially. I mean, uh, people got their heads around the Brexit, more or less, uh, at least as far as the impact on, on economics are concerned in the rest of the world, maybe not yet in the UK. Um, we also see that some of the election results in, in, in France, for instance, went the right way. Also, Germany is in stability again. So a lot of the pot potential risks which were all out there in the political arena have sort of diminished. Secondly, um, yeah, there could be economical risks and, and the biggest potential expected change is an increase uh, in interest rates, but it's not necessarily clear what that will do for IPO volumes. You, you could argue both sides on that one. And then finally, there is uh, obviously out there the, the big gorilla, I would say, uh, is there any geopolitical risk in the sense that something really goes wrong as far as North Korea is concerned? If that would happen, it's very difficult to predict uh, what would happen to the stock exchange and, and the IPO activity, but uh, uh, most likely it's not going to be a good, uh, a good development.